what's up guys welcome back to another video this is a reaction to us culture shock british verdict on american suburbs and yes from lost in the pond as always if you've not seen this channel before which i'm sure you have links will be in the description to this video and yeah but i mean again i'm almost certain all of you know his channel but um we're gonna check this out and see i mean this was a video that was posted when i was away so i didn't react to it then and i saw it pop up now and i was like yeah i'll react to this in today instead but Links are also in the description to my Patreon if you want to see some more of my reactions. But we're going to just jump into this and see, is it the differences or just his experiences of what it's like? I don't know if he's going to compare or if it's just going to be what he likes or whatever it is. But yeah, let's jump into it. Hello. I've lived in my first American house now for about three or four months. And I've been getting a lot of questions from people back home saying things like, Lawrence, what's it like to live in American suburbia after all this time? And I don't really have an easy answer for that. Obviously, I've never lived in American suburbia before. But something that you've got to understand about us British people. Before he gets into that, just looking at this, one verdict he's probably going to say is it's a lot more, there's a lot more space. It's a lot more open. The roads are bigger. It's wider. Pretty much anything involving space or size is just bigger. Because this is a suburb. Like suburbs are like where working class families live, right? Wait, let me just see. Suburbs are... Oh, am I just being an idiot? I mean, not just working class, but... Because um, I want to see the suburbs of Norwich quickly. Oh, not images. I'm so dumb. Let's just say... Okay, you, he's going to go into it. But let's just see. I don't know. I'm being an idiot. US suburb. Let's just briefly see. It's going to be. Yeah. It's definitely bigger. But is suburb the term for like nice of it? I don't know. Yeah. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. To be fair. This is a bit more space than I'm used to. To be fair. This is a bit more like it. But even smaller to be honest. Connected. Yep. Yeah. There we go. We're getting more like it. Now let's look at suburbs in my city. Norwich suburbs. I don't know where this is. I've never seen this road in my life. But kind of like this, but with usually the there's like fences and stuff around the front gardens. Because you're seeing this and thinking these people have no space till here we go. Look at this. This is exactly it. Wait. So this is like the area where, where a lot of people like to live. Um, a lot of people like to live. This is like one of the more expensive areas to live in my, the city because it's closer to the city centre and stuff. But look at these gardens, man. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Look at that. These are the people's gardens. On the roads. Yeah, it's a bit nuts to be honest. But anyways, this is way too long spent on this. Where was I? And then you got this, <laughs> a whole different world. Is that we have a sort of romantic. I've never lived in American suburbia before, but something that you've got to understand about us British people is that we have a sort of romantic view of what American suburban life might be like, and that's partly due to how we've received the information through films such as those of John Hughes or Suburban Commando with Hulk Hogan. And we usually come away from it thinking, all right, so American suburbia is this place that is not to be trusted whatsoever, at the same time being a place that Americans most want to live. And so now that improbably I find myself living in American suburban land, it's time to answer, what is it actually like living there? And my answer to that question does come in several parts, but I'm gonna break it down into just two. No, probably several. The first word that comes to mind when I think of my life here in American suburbia is quiet. And I know what you're thinking. Lawrence, quiet is just code for boring. And <laughs> let me tell you, that's, that is true. It is, it's quite boring here. But that's not necessarily a criticism. You know, that just means that not, no bad stuff. These are suburbs. Look at these houses, man. <laughs> these are suburbs. These houses would be like the... The pinnacle for 99% of people in the UK. You got a house this size. You got a garden this size. It's like a nice driveway. You probably got a big back garden, open area. <laughs> and here it's just—I mean, I wouldn't say it's normal, right? Because this is like suburbs in the US. But 
maybe these are like more bougie suburbs as well. But yeah, it's it's a different it's a different world to be honest. Stuff happens. You wouldn't think it listening to Suburban Sue, but for the most part, no bad stuff happens. It's really quiet, but it's boring, right? There are no barcades for four miles. That's why that's why I got a dog. Taking your dog for a walk around here is one of the best things you can do. You suddenly become part of this committee of dog owners and you bump into other members of this. Is this in Chicago as well? Because to me, this looks like it's some small village. If this is Chicago, that is insane to think to me committee and they all talk to you as if they've known you your entire life and for me this wasn't part of the bargain this wasn't part of the deal of getting a dog i didn't think i'd have to talk to any other humans that was one of the the good things of getting away from the city but now if you have a dog on a leash specifically if he's a puppy suburban americans will talk to you now thankfully they mostly talk at the dog so you don't really have to even make eye contact if you don't want to and that's good being british but everyone and their mother has a dog and actually, now that I've said that out loud, I realise it's not quite true because there are some people who, in their yards, have these signs that say, no dogs allowed. Who are you to say that dogs aren't allowed, right? This land that you've been paying a mortgage on and you think you own, you don't own it anymore. My dog owns it. Look, he did a little poo in your garden. What are you going to do? Oh, you're coming at me with a rake. All right. <laughs> But speaking of yard signs, Americans are big fans of those, aren't they? E even in the off season, right? Even when there's no politics happening whatsoever, which is never, when there's no election, people will have yard signs about all kinds of things. I passed one the other day that said something like, drive like your kids are playing in the street. And they obviously weren't familiar with my game because I don't have kids and I don't drive. So it just prompted me to want to ride around on my bicycle with reckless abandon. <laughs> Might try it, actually, and see what people do. But for all of its boring niceties, it's, it's a good place to live, this, you know. Quiet can be good. Quiet can be, especially if you're making YouTube videos, which I commonly am. The only noises you hear around here are that of cardinals and hoses and lawnmowers. But the other word that pops into my head, more so here than I think anywhere else I've lived in the United States, is the word rectangle. And that's because everybody lives in their own little rectangle here, don't they? It's not just the house in which they live. Their garden is wrecked. Oh, it's like wrecked. Oh. Oh, it's quite long then. This garden's like big. Would this just be for like your like average income family? Or would this be for people that are like a bit more well off than the average American? Surely you've got to be a bit more well off than the average American because these do look pretty big and the space you've got is a different level, man. What the hell? Yeah, I'm guessing this is not just the average income i'm just this i'm certain it wouldn't be because these do like they look like where you would get you'd get probably houses like this here but if you earn good money like good money rectangular although admittedly that's usually the same in britain but their streets are rectangular where i live in the chicago suburbs it's just one giant collection of rectangles in fact, you might even say it's a babushka doll of rectangles. Because while Cook County isn't itself rectangular, it is surrounded by counties that are. And I imagine that within those counties you have rectangular streets, and within those streets you have rectangular gardens containing American flags, which by their very nature are rectangular and also include 14 rectangles plus some stars. It doesn't really matter how you slice it. Here in American suburbia, there's always four sides to every argument. One impression that those films and American stereotypes in general used to give me is that all of these houses in American suburbia come equipped with a white picket fence. And I have to say, just walking up and down my street, I haven't seen a single white picket fence. Mind you, that's probably because the squirrels ate them all. Instead, if you have a fence, it's usually one of those chain link fences that makes you feel like you're in some sort of animal prison or a Hell in a Cell match, which suddenly starts to undercut this rosy feeling that we're supposed to have about American suburbia. Yeah, to be fair, if you got a fence like that, you're probably just going to swap it out, wouldn't you? And you get all kind of knocks at the door, don't you? It's like, oh, look, here's one of the neighbours with a massive welcoming cake. And I can't remember her name because she has a massive welcoming cake. And that's all I'm thinking about. I've just remembered I told her to watch my channel. So if you're watching, cake woman, thank you for the cake. What's your name? But more egregiously, you'll get those people come to your door saying, 
I'm not actually them, but I represent AT&T and would love to do you a deal on, I don't know, solar paneling. I don't know why AT&T does that. They do in my head because everything just becomes one jumbled mess of offers that come to your post box or just verbally to your face. And I can't stand it anymore because it happens all the time. I'm sure other homeowners are quite familiar with getting letters through your letterbox that say, Oh, big urgent news about your mortgage and you open it up and it's this offer to refinance your house right here, right now. And if you don't do it now, you will spontaneously combust and sadly- To be fair, you get that here as well. You always get letters like, do you want us to value your house? Even though I don't even own my place, I live in an apartment and they're like, do you want us to value? Bro, I don't own this, so I don't fucking care. <laughs> I get them every flipping- Probably every two weeks, it's so annoying. A lot of that literature isn't recyclable, so it just goes straight in the trash. And the same is true of all of the mortgage-related emails and text messages and friend requests. And the other thing about American suburbia, the thing that I was most convinced of as a child when I visited Florida in 1990, is that people's yards are just so pristine, they look like they came off a movie set. But it turns out, mm. at least here in the Midwest, that that is completely and utterly a little bit untrue. Because for the longest time... Oh, this looks a bit darker. <laughs> I guess this is, uh, this is during maybe autumn. I mean, there's no leaves on the trees, so it definitely is. But this does look a bit, a bit less green, as you can say. Because it has a sort of picture, it's just green grass and it's all cut perfectly and all this stuff. But... Also, I noticed there's not really ever like fences on the front garden, so people can just sort of kind of go to your front door. I'm not saying they would, but they can just do that quite easily. In the UK, not in the front, you you typically have like a little um, wall or something, but at the back gardens you've got like big fences, 90, 99% of the time where it's just like your garden, kind of like so no one can look in and stuff. But in the US, I guess maybe it isn't like that. The back gardens are just sort of open and you can probably see your neighbor in his back garden across i don't know how far i'm but. drawing winter that grass is yellow and looks like it's gonna die but like i said the sprinklers do turn up around this time of year and suddenly you do see pristine gardens mostly grass that's mostly what you will see in an american garden is just a big stretch of grass in england it's a bit different we mm -hmm. tend to have that kind of English garden mentality where we do overload it with plants in a good way. You don't. That's if some people, my mum has that. Some gardens just have like stones, no grass at all. Which if you do that, you are mental. Who wants that in their garden? Grass gardens are just the best because it's just nicer. But a lot of British gardens are so small, so you can barely do anything. So like you said, you overload it with stuff because you want to make the most of what you what space you can use. I don't often see that as much here. So it does all come down to how people keep their lawns. That is the attractive feature of an American garden. And for the most part, I think that you see gardens here in suburbia that are well kept. People do mow their lawns. But every now and again, you'll be walking along and you stop yourself in your tracks because you come across this house that's abandoned with just grass that looks like a forest. <laughs> Generally speaking though, that kind of thing is rare here in suburbia just because I think that once it's detected, somebody will want to do something about it. You know, Joe from down the street might just bring his lawnmower and take care of it for free. I would demand payment for that. So Joe, they're taking you to the cleaners, whoever they are. <laughs> and speaking of houses, this is something that took me by surprise. I've often said on this channel that, oh, American houses are absolutely bloody huge, right? Well, they are, but the, there's a, a... Okay, well, this is just some rich ass person. <laughs> Look at this house, man. Oh my, this is just a random footage of probably some millionaire's house. A varying degree of hugeness. Because what I found is you could have a mid-sized house, even a small house, on the same street as a mansion down at the end. I mean, that happens on my street. If you walk a few houses that way, you come across the mid-sized houses. And I just, I don't know how they cope with such little space. I'm joking, this is not a mansion. <laughs> And so, since my British friends have been asking, those are some of my observations of what it's actually like to live in American suburbia. By the time summer rolls around, I'll probably have 15 million more observations, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, I'm gonna leave now and take the puppy for a walk and tell him not to jump up at Suburban Zoo too much. My name is... <laughs> well, there we go. Definitely depends on the neighborhood. No chain link fences where I live. Plenty of white fences though. Oh, fair enough. A lot of 
HOAs, I don't know what that is, won't allow the British style garden instead of, instead of require like, grass lawns. What's HOA? The hell is H O A meaning? Homeowner. Wait, lots of homeowners. What does that mean? I don't really know what that means, to be honest. I don't even know what a common hole is. <laughs> oh, I have no idea, to be fair. I've never looked into that stuff. Um, welcome to America, America, Lawrence. Whenever I grow pessimistic about the state of our country, your videos always cheer me up. <clears throat> You're in pre-World War Two American suburbia. It's different a lot more charming than post <laughs> what um yeah hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and yeah like, obviously you make assumptions on certain things like are oh, they're all big homes and big gardens but obviously that's not the case and some are nicer than others that's just how it is but yeah this is a interesting reaction and yeah if you want more of this stuff let me know in the comments and yeah until next time like subscribe peace